Another classification of deities is purification, purification deities. Um, this is really something that is very common in art because of the main subjects. Now, purification in in the three levels of, of Buddhism, according to uh, Vajrayana Buddhism, in in the first level, which is uh, the Theravadan, uh, um, Sarvastivadin, uh, this is kind of what's called Hinayana. Then then we have the Vinaya. The Vinaya is the code for monks and uh, also extends to lay people. And within this, there are uh, some methods of purification, especially for the monks and the and the nuns. In Mahayana Buddhism, the, the main difference uh, between Mahayana and the, the uh, historically earlier Buddhism is really the, the um, enlightenment thought, the bodhicitta, and uh, how that is received, and then how that is maintained, and then how that is uh, purified if it becomes damaged. And the purification process for, for the bodhicitta in Mahayana is the, the, the Confession Sutra uh, in front of the 35 Buddhas. Um, so this we find in art, and it's a very, very, a very common subject. So, so that's really the first of the uh, kind of purification subjects uh, in, in art is the 35 Confession Buddhas. Then once we get into, into Vajrayana, then we have uh, Vajrasattva. This is a male deity, one face, two arms, often white, sometimes yellow, and uh, holding a Vajran bell, embracing a consort, and it can be embracing the consort in various uh, ways with uh, the legs pendant or the, the hands uh, crossed in Vajra gesture at the heart or, or different, different ways. Um, Vajrasattva is, is a principal uh, purification method of Vajrayana because it is so commonly found in so many of the different tantras. Um, then we have another deity called Vajra uh, uh, Vidarana, um, which can be used for purification. And then we have Vajra Dhaka, which is uh, coming out of the Chakrasambara system. Uh, one of the, the tantras of the Chakrasambara cycle of tantras. And the Vajradhaka is used for purification the same way that Vajrasattva is used, except the Vajradhaka is more wrathful. It's just, uh, it's more wrathful, and it involves more um, ritual. It, you have to do more things uh, rather than just pure visualization. Now, also with purification, uh, or sorry, with, with, uh, yeah, this sort of purification deities. We also have a set of five deities, which are called the cleansing deities, and and this overlaps with the purification deities. And one of them is Burkumkuta. Burkumkuta is a deity for uh, not contagious disease, but for uh, individual type disease, uh, more more cancer, more uh, uh, leprosy, more uh, well, not leprosy, things that are not contagious. Then we have green Vajravidharana, blue Vajravidharana, Ushnisha Vijaya that also overlaps with long life deities. And then we have Vajrasattva, which is regarded as sort of the principal purification deity. And these are called the five cleansing deities. So we have different systems of, of uh, categorizing some of these figures, uh, but they all have the same function of a kind of a confession uh, kind of purification of misdeeds, purification of wrongdoing, but purification has has kind of two meanings here. It has the inner, which is a um, wrongdoing, but then it has the outer, which can be also sickness, um, sickness or some um, harm or mental condition, which you are trying to cleanse. So that's purification deities.